other branding is all hidden on the side. So I'm here today with the uh, Brownstone. We're over here at Capsule. What's up, guys? I'm Waverly Watkins. Warner Watkins. What's up? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we have a, a beautiful installation here. Thank you. Know, Thank you. TVs, low fi filters. Very wavy. Thank so, you guys. Thank you guys. To open this up, uh, how long you guys been in business? We have been, I'm 28, so we've been a brand for 28 years. But we've been <laughs> a real brand for roughly three. Right, yeah, right. This right. is our first LA, collection. Maybe about, we moved to LA maybe about three years ago. Yeah. And that's when we really started. But before that, we were like, we were bullshitting around. We were like, oh, in New York and Atlanta. Like, we were trying to get it right, but the infrastructure really came in Los Angeles. Right. In LA, we kind of found like exactly what we needed. As far as facilitating the creation, as far as being able to reach out to people we needed to reach out to, as far as like finding a lot, everybody is finding access to Jeff and his but actually like never asked for the like, this is the DNA of the brand and this is how we're going to work. We definitely didn't really do check until we got to LA.
his favorite piece. If you could tell me a bit about this for the shot. Yeah, uh, this yeah. We have more it's one of like the Neptunes from like. 99, Check the 99. No, because it's crazy. I almost didn't show up because I was like, yeah, you got to go shoot with these dudes called the Neptunes. Never heard of these guys either. Uh, you know, they, they've done, the, the, you know, they're, they're big producers. They're about to be big. I was like, ah, all right, all right. So we kind of just went there reluctantly. Um, but the one thing I remember about the shoot is uh, Chaz had the, like, brand new, like, Nike foam posits. Like they just came out, he was just geeking out on them. Like, make sure you get the phones and all this. <coughs> so I totally remember that. And even back then, like Pharrell, you could just tell he had mad confidence when you take photos of him. Like, so it was cool. Yeah. That, that was the same day. Nice work. You know. So, yeah, that was a pretty memorable one. They all had like cool little stories, you know. Yeah. We caught we caught your favorite. I'm gonna obviously skip a little bit to my favorite because being a California boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there's like a crazy. So that you know what a star wagon is, right? Yeah. When they're like doing the movie sets or whatever. They're filming at some VH1 show where like they take over someone's crib and then like a celebrity like does a makeover. Just, just snoop like made over this person's house. But anyways, I'm in the star trailer and we're like, all right, I only got you only got three minutes to shoot them. You know, I'm like, dude, I don't want to shoot him in a star trailer. Like, lighting's terrible. It just looks crazy. So, we just walk out the star trailer, and I saw the stuff. So I was like, oh, man, how about you do, like, a little crossing guard thing? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm with that. This is it. So, this is it. Yeah, so that's how that came about. It's not planned or anything, but it you know, worked out real cool. I think it's in West Hollywood somewhere. I might want this one for my own. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Love thy haters, but fuck what y'all think Cause none of y'all, none of y'all really know me We do what we feel Cause we know what's real What's real, y'all What's real, y'all Love thy haters, but fuck what y'all think What's real, y'all What's real What's real? Fuck what y'all think. Can't nobody tell us who we are. Who we are right now. We were sent here from the stars. From the stars right now. People changing who they are. Who they are right now. This shit ain't really hot. Right now. They try to blind you with the gold, bargain with your soul We have the control, see so you're vulnerable You've been in it though, run up in your home Take you from your throne, fall like domino I like I don't know, marijuana flow Haters always wanna go, to it to the top But we are not your foe Advice would you give, like give, like give to them? Um, be in the streets. 
Yeah, don't do it unless it's like shit you actually do. So what, as of now, 2018, so what do you guys got coming next? Oh, we have a new store in LA. Where? March 9th. Where? 7th of spring. March 9th? March 9th. 7th of spring. March 9th. 7th of spring, March 9th. New yeah. one of And do you guys trust the one West 7th? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. 111 West 7th. West 7th. Okay, so you guys have a store in LA, do you have a store also in, in Virginia. Virginia? Yeah, in Richmond, Virginia. In Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, we've been here for two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yes, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. And just a little background, one of the reasons I really, really fuck with this brand was because I knew Jermaine, when he just had this shit on, on paper telling me, like, oh, this is my brand, this is my brand, showing me illustrations and shit. And now look, and we at, and now he got the store, not only in Richmond, he got a store in LA, right beside fucking Acne. Close to Acne, not beside Acne, close to Acne. Close to Acne, on the same block as Acne. Close Shout to out to Acne. Shout out to Acne. Shout out to Acne, shout out to Utmost. We love everything you guys doing. Thank you guys for the interview, man. Oh, sorry. 
our creative director to just get his take on it. And I guess basically from the feedback that everybody was giving them, they decided to push for a creative official collab. So that's how they got there. But literally, the one was the um, string, the blue one. one. Got our good friend uh, Millie here, which is which is a legend. So, Millie, tell us your story about how you became affiliated with Champion and how, um, and how you liked it thus far. Well, what happened was uh, I'm a I'm a vintage dealer, a vintage connoisseur, and I was working with uh, the store called Tried and True. Champion did a, a pop up there, a lab, and I had a, a couple of different like Champion vintage pieces and. Uh, at that time, I met Marissa and Manny. And ever since, when we just kind of built an organic relationship, they reached out, uh, had me style a couple of different like lookbooks, and some like um, some creative shoes. And at this point, we just still rolling. We get ready to open up a, uh, a pop up. Don't tell nobody. I guess we are telling people, but it's, it's going to be at LA um, pop up, right? <laughs> for about probably for about six months. So I'm gonna help run that. And uh, man, we just want to see where it goes, man. I'm just, I'm a big fan of Champion, so you know, right. it's, it's, it's an honor for them to even like, you know, work with me on any type of level. Right, exactly. And this, this is a, this is like family to me. Yeah, like, man. You know, the, the relationship runs very, very deep. That part. So you know, that part. It's We're out here. Bro right here man. <laughs> Real talk. Man. Yeah, you know, I'm proud of you just because you know, you know, continue. Oh yeah, for sure. That part. So I was stopping over here, I really looked at a lot of places and it really caught my eye. You know what really caught my eye? This jacket over here. You wanna come take a look? So this thing is futuristic. Take a look at it. Amazing color, amazing fabric, quality. Look inside, it's actually reversible. So when it reverses, this actually becomes the inside. Phenomenal. Amazing. So, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about the brand and how you get started. Yeah, it started not a long time ago. It was like three years ago. It was very new and fresh in the market. And uh, here in the US, we are getting big, I think. It started only one year and a half here in the US. Really? Yeah, we are from Europe, and so we started in Europe, and uh, the things are growing. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the name? Yeah, what is yeah, it? You mean it's, uh, it's enemy. enemy. It's like a uh, strong name. The slogan is no enemy, no character. So, oh, no enemy, no right. character. So it's basically like, you know, if you you don't have enemies, you're not you're doing you're doing something wrong. You are doing something wrong. You're exactly. not in the right way. Exactly. Every time you're good, you have enemies. That's why it's the name. And everyone loves the name. We, we try to keep it in Portuguese. Uh, it could be enemy, but uh, no, we decided no, no, to keep no, no. it Portuguese. Way more creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right right right. So, what do you guys see your brand in like five years? I don't know. It's a hard question. <laughs> what, 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 what do I want? I want it to be everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know. It's a, a hard question. Oh, yeah. Hey, a lot of trash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Heck yeah. Well, shoot, you want to show us any more pieces while we're here? We had another cool piece. It was a shoe, yeah, I believe. Shoe. Oh, amazing. Okay. It's almost like a matching shoe of a jacket, right? Yes. It's crazy. The camel is the And everything's for made in next collection. Everything's made in Portugal, right? Yeah, everything. We try to keep everything made in Portugal. Very high quality. That's phenomenal. And the retail is what? 249. 249. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, they have a really nice price point. Yes. Alright guys, 
Tastes make like this. Same piece. Peace and love, Simon. Check it out. Taste make like Call it, Dave. I'm happy to introduce yourself. Brandon, Brandon Kaplan, Jaren, Jaren Baker, David, David Collin. What's up, Jimmy? Yo, it's David, Dave Forto. So I don't have a ton of time, but I want to go through a couple pieces that I fuck with. Pieces that I fuck with. Pieces that I fuck with today. Uh, uh, this one being number one. Oh, no. Tell me a little bit about. Alright, so we got that. Alright, so basically this piece here, you know, is uh, elongated olive jacket, and this is all magnets right here pockets and the traditional um, fish shell goes to the back we kind of flipped it around and put it to the front and then it has the elastic and the drop shoulder as well uh, yeah and it's waterproof it's waterproof that's piece of the t-shirt also you guys oh yeah that's right and then you got the double layer tee which is nice yeah it's all built in with the, the flap yeah. and then we got our stomper denim and this rock with also this is the collar Chelsea piece. Yeah, yeah. The Chelsea piece. Pretty the buck was on the back. Tell me about this. All right, so this is a spring piece. This is uh, the moto stitching drop shoulder. Um, and I'm rocking the double layer tee. The blown out Sorry. denim. Yeah, it's made of satin. And then I have the black Chelsea buckle boots. Okay. Got the collar hat. Sticky with the of, kind of concept of black bombers. Yeah, too. yeah. And he's got the black and black camel. Um, we got the zipper detailing all over the arms, distressing, yeah, distressing on the, the sleeves. And he's got the black and black waterproof zipper with uh, the inverted uh, pouch, and then our our moto fabric uh, essential tee. Then he's got a spring uh, fall winter, sorry, spring uh, denim with the zipper on the side. It's fully functional. Yeah, and he's got the elongated um, flannel yeah. with the raw finishing, drop shoulder, uh, suede collar hat, and he's got the, the denim. Yeah, collar. you guys are rocking basically all black right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Black and black. But they have more colors have, with it, but I wanted to definitely yeah, touch on the have, denim yeah, coat one time. Black and black denim. Yeah. This has like the scoop fishtail. We got this handsome lad over here. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look good. And, uh, he's got the essential denim on. Yeah. Oh, nice stack yeah. fit. Stack fit, yeah. And then we go over here. This is the most popular section we have. These are all the Chelsea uh, boots. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, bro. Thank you, bro. Gang.